Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another garden video. So like, it seems all my videos lately, I am once again back out with my seed army, starting some more summer seeds. And hopefully this will be my last set of seeds for the summer. But I went to get some bulbs. We've been planting lots of peony bulbs from the store from Walmart. We got some Sarah Bernhardt peonies. I wanted to do a comparison between tubers from Walmart and um, Lowe's, from Etsy, and from my local nursery. And so I was at Walmart getting bulbs, tubers, and I just, just took a gander at the seed shelf. I've never bought seeds from Walmart. Um, I bought them from Johnny Seeds quite a few times lately since Laura from Garden Answer recommends them. Um, but for our less exciting seeds, <laughs> I decided let's give some Walmart seeds a chance. I have seen plenty of people with good results for things like zinnias and cosmos. These are not specialty seeds. These are your common workhorse kind of seeds that I need to grow because I don't want to buy them this year. If I can get them to grow myself for $1.96, that's the goal. So I got two types of zinnias, Purple Prince, which these are a tall variety. They get 36 inches tall and a short variety. These are Luminosa Pink and they get 24 inches tall. Got two types of Cosmos, a dwarf cutesy. These are still 36 inches tall, so I don't know why they say dwarf. And a summer dreams. These are also 36 inches tall. Now I did direct seed zinnias last year and they worked perfectly. They come up super easy when you direct seed them. However, I want as much as, as much of my plants as possible to be ready to go into the garden as soon as last frost has passed this year. Um, when you wait to buy plants from the nursery or from a garden center, first of all, it's more expensive. Second of all, you have to wait till they come in. And so for me, that was waiting until the end of April, almost May, whereas I can plant our last frost date here is March 10th. <coughs> so by sowing my own seeds, I'll be able to start planting these mid-March instead of May. I also got some miracles. These are the Eskimo variety, which are a pale, like buttercream yellow. I bought a six pack of these for my local nursery last year and they were beautiful, but they were not cheap. So, and then two types of alyssum, royal carpet, which is a purple and white and comes up to three inches and a white carpet of snow alyssum, which comes up to four to six inches tall. So. Um, alyssum in the south will die out in the heat of summer. Sometimes it comes back once those cooler temperatures come back. It has literally been helicopter season here. I don't know about y'all, but I live right by Fort Rucker, which is where helicopter flight school is. That's why I live here. My dad came to flight school many, many years ago and met my mom. My dad was a helicopter pilot, FYI. And uh, they are their training. So there's no getting away from it. We're going to start all these seeds and then, then we will have more seeds to add to the army. So quite a few of the seeds I am going to be reusing um, containers from seeds that I've already planted out in the garden. So like all these lupin containers the lupins I planted last November, they've already come up. I've planted them out in the garden. So I will be topping these up with some new soil and then replanting them. I'll just relabel the tops. And then I do have some new containers. So all these are is empty water jugs or milk jugs. So you're going to take the top off, toss it. There's still water in this one. I don't want to waste it. And typically I cut right here, right underneath the handle, but I saw Laura from Garden Answer cut on this line in her last 
seed starting video and it seems easier. So we're gonna try that. I am a hot mess today because uh, it's been pretty warm the last week, but today's the coldest day of the week. Came out to check on all my plants and uh, needed a sweatshirt, so. Didn't want a nice cute sweatshirt when I'm working with dirt, so. Oversized sweatshirt of my husband's it is. Oh yeah, that's way better. Do that. All right. Now we're going to add drain holes. And dirt. If you've already watched me do this 8 million times because I have started so many seeds this year, you can skip to the end where I show you all the pretty things. Well, they, won't, they won't be pretty, they'll just be lined up. I show you all the things we start. All right, fill this baby up with some dirt. And the first time we started seeds, we used a mixture of potting soil in the bottom and seed starting mix on top. Um, and that worked well. If I had seed starting mix, I'd put maybe a centimeter, a couple inches on top. But the main goal of these little DIY greenhouses, our winter sowing method, is that they grow outside in the outdoor temperatures. We don't have to harden off the seedlings. They are already adapted to the outside. They are rain water by rain, not by me. Um, and they're very hands off, which is excellent so while seed starting mix is important for indoor seeds it's actually better for your outdoor seeds um, to just use regular potting soil or you know garden soil they grow stronger and hardier and that's the goal so I'm going to start with my Luminosa Pink Xenia seeds. These are my shortest seeds and they take 35 to 60 days. That's a long range to first bloom, but they should germinate in 7 to 14 days. So our little Xenia seeds, these look like arrowheads and I'm going to put them in one in the middle and then one in the four corners. You can sew them a lot thicker than this, but I find five in a container, by the time they get big, um, they're easier to separate the roots. That is always a plus. These are like all other zinia seeds, they need to be covered by up about a quarter inch of soil. So. Mist everything, pre-moisten the soil, water them in. First, duct tape, close the baby up. They don't need to be airtight, but you do want them to be closed enough that um, the top can act as a humidity zone. And now I will use my garden marker to label these Luminosa Pink Short Zinnias. I probably won't label all of the containers on the full name. I think I just have Short Zinnias on the other four, so I'll just go with that, but do the full name on at least one. And that's it. I'm going to keep going 
doing this for all of my seed packs until my army of seeds has grown once again. And then I will show you everything being watered in. Let's go. All right, we've added a few more seeds to our seed army. So we have an entire row here of our new Luminosa Pink Zinnias. So these say they take seven to four days to germinate. They grow 24 inches high and they're 35 to 60 days to bloom. So I cannot wait. Zinnias are typically very easy to grow. You can seed them right in the ground but then of course you have to wait till after your last frost um so i'm just hoping to get a little bit of a jump on that and uh see how this works so from here our other new seeds are mostly right in here we have our cosmos summer dreams white with pink and the middle and yellow centers these look so fancy in the back, these are 60 to 65 days to bloom and they get 36 inches tall. So Cosmos are typically fairly tall, airy flowers. I did seed some Cosmos um, in my seed trays from Giverny that I picked up when we were in France. So hoping those will germinate. Well, they're already germinated. They're already up. They're already forming their second flowers, but I'm not sure what color those are. So, you know, making a few more. Next is, there we go, our Dwarf Cuties Cosmos right here. So we did five of each of these um, Xenia's Cosmos Cosmos. These say they're Dwarf Cuties, but they are actually still tall, 36 inches tall, and they are 45 to 49 days to bloom. So there you go. And these are kind of a variety pack. So white, pink, purple, light pink. They should be fun though. And I'm not sure which ones, um, but mom wanted some Cosmos as well. So some of these, half of them, I don't know. They might be going to mom's house. We'll see which ones she likes and uh, go from there. Our front zinnias are the purple prints. These are fairly uh, standard colors i think they're all mainly pinks and purples but they are 90 days to bloom so they do take a while now i am growing extra zinnias and cosmos this year because i want to put some in my new raised beds for cut flowers so normally i don't think i need so many but you know especially with brand new raised beds pity i was trying to get a cute picture of you don't want to have to buy a lot of flowers for those cut beds because the raised beds themselves and filling them it's already cost me a pretty penny last but not least we have our alyssum oh no we're good to go so i seeded two different types carpet of snow which is the white and royal carpet which is this white and purple kind of variegated colors they are very similar um but the the purple here the royal carpet only gets to be four to six inches and the white gets to be three inches. So the white is a shorter variety than the purple. I have seen with alyssum sewn in the milk jugs. I've also seen them sewn in big jars. And unfortunately, while our raspberry gumfrina is germinating just fine, our pink gumfrina has not come up at all, let alone germinated or formed leaves. So 
I think I'm going to be reallocating these big jugs, one for purple and one for white, um, because they do say that alyssum sometimes seeds better instead of in these little jugs and larger jugs, more of a scatter sown all across the entire surface as opposed to the five corner method that we did here. So especially because my mom wants alyssum as well, I want to make sure to have enough for both of us. So I think I'm going to reallocate these next week, uh, next week on Sunday, it's Friday when I do the marigolds. So our marigolds, the Eskimo, this light buttercream color. These are tiny babies. Only get to be 12 to 18. So they are front of the border and they take 45 to 60 days to bloom. I love these. I'm not a big marigold person in the orange family or the um, darker yellow, but these kind of pom-pom ones, I just... They're so cute. I love them. So I ran out of milk jugs today, but on Sunday I have a friend bringing me 10 more. So I'm going to sow a whole row of 10 marigolds and I swear is it. I will not be sowing any more seeds this season. We have more than enough. I will try to count them all and put the number up on the screen for you, but I do want some marigolds. So, so those on Sunday, I probably won't show y'all. Y'all have watched me sow more than enough seeds and then we'll be good to go until, until the middle of March when we can start planting these babies out. I'm so excited. Um, if you caught my January or my February garden tour, you got an update on how all the seedlings are doing. Spoiler alert, they are growing. <laughs> this wasn't working. Do you think I would keep doing it? I am going to go inside and get warm because the sun is going down and my fingers are cold after dealing with all of that water. So I will see y'all in the next video. If you want to check out planting more pretty things, I just planted a bunch of cyclamen tubers and plants over in my shade garden. Check that out. Bye.